Um, hi, I'm Haley. I'm 20 years old. I go to SUNY Cortland and I'm a health education major. For one of my classes this semester, I was in human sexuality education and we had to write an autobiographical paper. I chose to write about my journey with vaginismus and how Women's Therapy Center has helped me. Over this past year, I have learned and discovered more about myself than I than I ever could have imagined, and it's all thanks to the Women's Therapy Center in Plainview, New York. This place absolutely changed my life and has changed the lives of so many other women. They have given me more self-confidence than I ever thought was possible. This journey I am on is not over yet, but I already know it is one of the best decisions I have made in my life. Now let's get into my story. It starts with a tampon. In the summer of 2018, at the late age of 16, much later than all of my other friends, I finally got my period. In the summer of 2019, my period was finally regular thanks to birth control. So while I was at camp, my friends decided it was time that I learned how to use a tampon. We all went into the bathroom. I was in the stall and they stood on the other side of the door instructing me on what to do. I just couldn't do it. I didn't know why it wouldn't just go up there as everyone else's did. So I decided to take a break and try again later. The same thing happened. I was able to remove the applicator, but I couldn't stand up or walk without feeling a stabbing pain. I called and told my mom. She reassured me that there was nothing wrong with me and it just takes time. That same summer, after camp, I went to the gynecologist for the first time. And let me tell you, this was quite the experience. I made my mom come into the room with me because I was so nervous. I wondered how they would examine me if I couldn't even use a tampon. When I got into the examination room, I answered all the questions the nurse had asked me. When she left, the doctor came in. She was my mom's doctor too, so I already felt comfortable with her. I also trusted her because my mother did. The next thing I knew, I was in tears, hysterically crying. She had barely even touched me with her finger and I was in a tremendous amount of pain. The doctor said there was nothing wrong with me physically and I just had to get used to it. This was not the answer I was looking for. I wanted an answer for my pain. I didn't want to just be told everyone feels this way because I knew that wasn't the truth. I had never heard of someone experiencing this type of pain before. I thought I must be the only one. I felt scared and alone. Almost a year later, I started streaming the show Private Practice. I know this sounds strange, but this show really helped me. There was a patient who had very similar symptoms to mine. In some way, I felt connected to her. In the show, they diagnosed her with a condition called vaginismus. After watching this episode, I did some research of my own. From what I read on the internet, I had this condition, but I wanted a real diagnosis. I went to my mom and explained everything to her. She said that she would help me, so she asked a bunch of her younger work friends for gynecologist recommendations. In the summer of 2021, I finally made an appointment with my new gynecologist. This ap appointment changed the course of my life. I had no idea just how much this appointment would do for me. I told my new doctor my concerns and she took them seriously. Instead of brushing them off like my other doctor had, this one listened to me. We took it slowly and she explained everything she was doing as she did it. She couldn't even touch me with a Q-tip and once again I burst into tears. It was then that she decided we needed to take a different route. She called me in a prescription for lidocaine, a numbing cream, to apply before my next appointment. She squeezed me into her schedule for the next day so we could see if this would help. Spoiler alert, it didn't. I still ended up, I still ended up crying hysterically because of the pain. She confirmed what I had thought and had diagnosed me with vaginismus. This is when she recommended I make an appointment with this place called the Women's Therapy Center. I was told to ask for Dr. Ross. Making this phone call was the best decision of my life. Two weeks later, I went in for my consultation appointment with Dr. Ross. I had no idea what to expect. I just knew I wanted to be fixed. I walked into the office for the first time and I saw a sign that said, shut up anxiety. I felt comfortable right away and was overcome with this feeling that this was going to be a good thing. As I sat down with my mom and waited for my turn, we saw two ladies walking out. These women had come all the way from the Ukraine. They walked out and saw me sitting there with a nervous look on my face. They stopped to tell me that I was going to be okay and this place worked miracles. I just needed to trust the process. This appointment was just a consultation. Dr. Ross asked me about my sexual background, emotional background, and why and how I had come to the clinic. I told her everything and started to cry because I was so emotional and embarrassed. I felt like I was broken, but she assured me that I wasn't. 
She explained to me that vaginismus is just an anxiety attack in the vagina. She also explained to me that this program is a mix of physical and talk therapy, so I must keep an open mind. I was excited yet scared. I made my follow-up appointment after I returned from camp that summer. The next appointment was to be an evaluation. This was something I was determined to cure. I was motivated and committed to helping myself. Eleven weeks went by and I was back in their office. I was there for my first real appointment. I met Dr. Katz and Dr. Lauren, the physical therapists. I took the Xanax that was prescribed for me before my appointment and had my mom drive me. First, I was taken back into one of the physical therapy rooms. It was here that they tried to evaluate me and the severity of my situation. They wanted to see if I could put my own finger on the area. I started to cry once again. Surprisingly, though, I was able to do it. Physically and anatomically, there was nothing wrong with me, but I was so anxious that it hurt. I went back into the talk therapy room with Dr. Ross, and she explained to me that I seemed to have underlying anxiety. With her help and guidance, we scheduled an appointment with a physician assistant that she knew. Dr. Ross believed that I would benefit from medication. She believed the medication would help me with therapy, but also in my everyday life. I got a prescription for Zoloft, and I haven't regretted it. During the fall semester of 2021, I found that Zoloft was really helping me. I was less anxious overall and was excited to go back and to show the doctors at Women's Therapy Center all of my emotional progress. It was during the fall semester I decided to run an experiment. I wanted to see if I could finally insert a tampon, and to my surprise, I did. Finally, the tears I was crying were happy tears. I never believed that the day would actually come. I called my mom and texted Dr. Ross. Everyone was ecstatic for me. Everyone was proud of me. I was proud of myself. This success gave me the confidence boost I needed to go through with the rest of my process and therapy. Now it is winter break and I finally went in for my first appointment after being on the Zoloft. I did so well, better than I ever expected. The physical therapy part of my treatment involved the use, the use of different sized dilators. This was to train my brain and body for what penetration was supposed to feel like. I started with a size 7 dilator. I was so thrilled. I know that sounds silly, but to me this was a huge accomplishment. I worked with Dr. Lauren throughout winter break. She taught me how to use an applicator for a yeast infection in case I ever needed one. We even practiced gynecological exams. We used a speculum and she showed me what a pap smear would feel like. The words speculum and pap smear used to scare me, but now those words have no effect on me. I know I can do it and I have nothing to be afraid of. With the help of this amazing practice, I was able to overcome my anxiety and fear. I know I will have a full life with all of the life experiences I hope for myself. I have two appointments left in my journey at the Women's Therapy Center. I am so grateful to have had this experience. These three women have changed countless lives. People from all over the world and people of all ages come here for this specialized therapy. They come here hoping for the same outcome that I have had. These doctors do, what these doctors do is incredible. Along my journey, I have learned that I am not alone. Many people suffer from this condition but don't speak up because they are embarrassed or fear of judgment. I have learned there is nothing to be embarrassed about. At the end of every session, the doctors end with the phrase, shut up anxiety, there is nothing to be scared of, you can do this. I am so thankful that I found the center and these women. These women had faith in me when I didn't have faith in myself. My life has been transformed. It has now been four months since I have written this paper and have completed treatment. A year ago yesterday, I walked into Women's Therapy Center feeling scared, nervous, and alone. Today, I walked in feeling confident and ready to share my story. A year ago, I would have never agreed to talk about my condition because I was so embarrassed, but today, there was no hesitation. I want to make sure young women who suffer know that they are not alone. I am forever grateful to Women's Therapy Center and everything they've done for me.